And welcome back everyone to Overtime. As we teased earlier, we have a very special guest on the interview couch with us. He's none other than Davis Weathersby, a coach who needs really no introduction. But I tell you what, he is a legend here in the area. Coach Weathersby has coached at Coleman, then Coleman High School back in the 1950s and 1960s when they were a powerhouse across the state and football and other sports as well. And he also was the head football coach at Mississippi Valley State during the 1970s, their eighth head coach in school history. And he coached there for eight years. He also was athletic director at Mississippi Valley State. And we're so honored to have none other than once again, Davis Weathersby, a coach who has touched hundreds of lives throughout his career, a career that definitely we're going to shine some light on today over the next 15 minutes or so. Coach, so honored to have you be a part of Overtime tonight once again as a special guest. It's good to be here. All right. Well, Coach, I always like to dive in when we start off into especially someone like yourself being a legend. We know about your coaching accolades. We know about the lives that you touched, so forth and so on. But what about before you became a coach? Your upbringing, where you were born? Well, I was born in Liberty, Mississippi, about nine miles west of Liberty on uh, 106 acres of land that my father owned. And uh, my father was John Weathersby, mm. and my mother was Mary Gardner Weathersby. And I had uh, five brothers and three sisters, and I was the youngest of the nine. And then you venture off to Alcorn State and play football there as well, right? Yes, uh, you know, when I first went to Alcorn, I went to play football because I loved the game. And then after I got there, you know, and got in a different environment, and then my focus was on trying to get an education. Mm. And then, um, and of course, I did real well my first semester. But the second semester, I started slacking off. I made some mistakes and I missed a lot of my classes and got behind. And so I realized that I was in school to get an education, so I had to go and talk to all my professors and told them that I had made a mistake. I asked them to give me some makeup work to do, and they did, and I was able to stay in school. So you attend Alcorn, play football there, and you graduate. So what led you to Greenville? One of my teammates was the head coach here, Robert Hall, and they wanted me to come to be his assistant coach. And of course, I had two other offers, one in Tennessee and one another in Mississippi. But because I had been to Greenville, because Elijah Moe was my roommate, a very good friend, and I had been to Greenville and spent the weekend with him. And so I decided, well, maybe I'll take the job in Greenville. So I came on to Greenville as assistant football coach and he had girls basketball coach my first year. So after the first year, uh, Coach Hall left and went, took a job at 33rd High School in Gulfport, Mississippi. And I, I was elevated to the head football coach position at Coleman. And so the first uh, year, 1956, that was the first year that I served as head coach. And of course, Mo and myself, our team went six and four that year. Then the second year, 1957, uh, we went undefeated, but we had two ties. Mm -hmm. But we won the Northern Division Championship, and then we played Oak Park, Olara, Mississippi, for the Big 8 Championship. And that was the first time in the history of school that we had won the overall Big 8 Championship after they had separated the two divisions. And then in fifth to eighth, we came back and won it again against Oak Park. But we played that game in Greenville. Mm. And so we beat them six to nothing in Greenville. And we beat them 18 to 14 in Law, the first championship game. Wow, wow. I'm so amazed how you can just run those numbers off like they were just like yesterday to you. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach, we're going to take a break. But when we come right back, we're going to talk a little about your coaching career, some more about your times at Coleman when it was a powerhouse back then, and also how you made the transition from Coleman 
to Mississippi Valley State. That and much more with Coach Davis Weathersby when we return on your overtime.